shelter in Texas is an example of what's causing such outrage. Nearly 1,500 boys are here. Some are as young as 10. Some came to the U.S. alone. Immigration authorities took others away from their parents when they illegally crossed the border as a group. There's a child right now sitting in a room that does not understand what's going on. They cannot conceptualize the meaning of this. It's the adults in this world that are going to have to help them and love them and help these families. Not one more day. Pima Supervisors Chair Richard Elias brought together elected officials from county and city governments, school districts and tribal governments to declare the family separations immoral and a conflict with our country's ideals. Members of the Pasquayaki Nation say their long history includes families torn apart by Mexican and U.S. governments. And yet in this day and age we have this kind of regime, I would call it. You only hear that in foreign countries where they do things like this. Mayor Jonathan Rothschild knows some people will question why local governments should push to change federal immigration policy. And even though local governments bear little official responsibility for immigration policy, we each have front row seats to the challenges posed by every shift in our actions toward immigrants. Pima Board Chairman Richard Elias wants people to push back for change. We need to stand up for it no matter what party we're in. And that's why I say all hands on deck. This is not a matter of just Democrats or just Latinos objecting to this. 